your job when you're one thing you have certain levels that you're supposed to do but every time you go up they add to your job requirements right yeah. so God is saying to us you can go up but you can't go up like you are Jesus. 
He said, if you want to go to whom much is given, yeah. that's in the word. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is what? Why? So that means you can't do the same thing that you did with yesterday's anointing and stand and ask God for something else. When you haven't even done what he's already asked you to do with what you're doing yeah. now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go. So I'm not beating you up, I promise. I swear. It's in the word. It's what the word says. And because this is the word of God, I ask you to receive it in love. Hallelujah. I ask you to receive it because it's his word. It's not my word. Hallelujah. But I want each and every one of us to go where God wants us to go. That's right. And you're not going to get there by everybody telling you everything that you want That's to hear. Right. But it's going to be some days where you got to go home and cry and pray and fast. Hallelujah. And then sometimes you got to ask God, what are you saying to me? Yes. Hallelujah. I don't like the way it came, but what are you saying to me? Because God, I'm open to whatever you want to say. However you say it. Amen. And whoever you say it through. Hallelujah. Because if Brother Dominique was up here, I would still be listening to what he has to say. Because when God sends a word, it's for the house. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. So let's turn to Luke. I'm going to calm down so the young people can really understand what God is saying to us and why it's imperative that we not only be saved, but that we do what this book says. Because God has a mandate on each and every one of us to do something. And it, it's going to require you to really get in his word and really understand what he's saying, not only to you, but what he's saying to the house. Amen. Amen. So we can do this thing together. Is that all right? Amen. So did I tell y'all Luke? Yeah. I did tell y'all Luke. Okay. So we're going to go to Luke 19. Let's go to verse 2. My God. I'm going to not be before you. I'm going to try my best not to be up here long. They say that when someone is given a word or preaching, that the natural mind only retains 15 minutes of what the person has preached. So if I preach or somebody preach for an hour, you're only going to get 15 minutes of, of that, right? So let's get in this word and let's eat it and let it be nourishment for our bodies, not only our natural bodies, but let it be nourishment for our spiritual bodies. And we can turn this thing and get in the mirror and say, God, what are you saying to me? What do you have to say to me? What do you want me to do? I know that I've been trying and I've been doing some things, God. But what do you really want me to, to do? Luke 19, verse 2. And a man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. Young people, this is for you. Everybody, actually. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. And he was a chief tax collector. And he was wealthy. And he wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see who Jesus was. But being short, being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Now, when I think of Zacchaeus, and I'm sorry I keep using sister foot, but I got to. When I think of Zacchaeus, he was a man, he was very short. So the town had heard that Jesus was coming to town. And they had heard of all the miracles that he had done. They heard about how he had raised Lazarus and how he had opened blinded eyes and how he had um, let people hear that couldn't hear. He um, opened deaf ears and all these things that they heard him do. And they, they had heard about it, but it was time for him to come to their town. Amen. So Zacchaeus, it was a parade, of course. Everybody was there. When Jesus is doing something, everybody wants to know what God is doing, right? Amen. When you hear the sound of what God is doing, everybody wants to know what God is doing. Why? Because I want to be in the midst. Like the song said, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, God, don't do it without me. Do I got anybody to know what I'm, what I'm talking about? Okay, so Jesus was coming to town. And they had heard about the miracles. And Zacchaeus, it 